Hi, it's Corrine. I'm here today with a Craft Supplies One Design Team Project. Julie has a Zibit and Etsy store and I will put the links in the description box below. And currently in her Zibit store everything um, is 25% off until the 24th of this month until midnight except for the parchment flowers and those are still buy one get one free so if you you don't need a coupon for those if you purchase one of those then she will automatically put a second one in your box so again check out the Zibit and Etsy store and Zibit everything is 25% off until the 24th so her prices are really good and with the sale you really can't beat it so I hope you check it out today I have made a shadow frame box and I do have a start to finish on this so I will add that to this video if you're interested in watching that the only thing I did not film on that is the making of the box. This is a silhouette cutout and I'll put the design number in the description box um, below for the one that I used. And just to share a few things with you that I used today is this gorgeous trim of Julie's and it's a pink trim. This is all I have left. <laughs> I love it. It's a delicate intricate trim. I've also used her pearls. I love these. These are the double strand and I've used a lot of these and I still have you know enough left so they go a long way I've also used these acrylic flower beads I love these really um, you can add these to any project I've also used her pearl spray and look at this it's a bead and pearl spray it's the white one so you pull them apart, cut them apart, and use just the amount that you want to use. So these go a long way as well. I used her white spray. And other things I'll show you as we go along. So here is a photo that I printed out, and I believe I printed it out. It's three and a quarter by four and a quarter. I added an Allie Edwards stamp to it. and I popped it up on some cardboard. The paper here that I used and here for the frame is um, a paper that I printed out. I thought in here as well and also on the heart. So the whole collection matches. I used two handmade flowers here. I cut out these clock hands from my Cameo. I used one of the large buds roses from Julie shop. These are just gorgeous. Along with, it comes with this in it. And I tucked in some shabby flowers back here. You can barely see them. And here's that pearl spray that I was telling you about. So I love that. Here's the trim that I was showing you. I went through the entire frame and added it to the edge along with that pearl strand. I added a dress form that I had in my stash, which I painted white and added some clear rock candy distress or distress glitter. I added one of Julie's flowers. And here's that white spray. It's so delicate, I love it. Here's the acrylic bead flower. I added a few pearls throughout. I also added one of her faceted buttons there, which I love to use. And then all of these are Julie's flowers. I, her prices on her flowers are great, so you have to check them out there. I use them on pretty much every project, and I love just having every color to choose from. I have a rhinestone buckle with a pearl and I added a few pearls throughout. I cut this from my Cameo, used some Baker's twine and added a few more pearls here. So I hope you like my project. This was a lot of fun to make. That's my great niece which we got to just spend some time with and it's an adorable picture if you can see it. So this was, like I said, a lot of fun to make. I love using the stuff from Craft Supplies One. So I hope you go and check it out. All the links will be in the description box below. And if you want to see detailed photos or the start to finish on it, I'll play it right now. Thanks for watching.